hello student and welcome all in this video so we are going to discuss about some protozoan diseases in this video so so there are number of protozoan diseases which causes which harms the fishes so we have to discuss about some protozoan diseases in that first protozoan diseases that is ichthyosis also called as ek disease ichthyosis or also called as ek disease and this disease is caused by this disease is caused by ciliated protozoan that is having a name ichthyosis multifilus ichthyosis is a ek disease caused by ciliated protozoans and <coughs> the disease is caused by ichthyosis multifilus type of protozoa and it is very common disease of indian freshwater fishes it is commonly found in the indian freshwater fishes the young parasites moving about in water and get attached to the skin of the fish they grow between the epidermis and dermis and after becoming large in size about 1 mm in size fall to the bottom of the pond and here the they get they get insisted and then multiply rapidly to produce large number of offspring so such a type of disease the such a protozoans when attack on the body of the fish they can goes grow between the epidermis and dermis layer and when they become larger they fall to the bottom and here they get insisted and multiply rapidly to produce large number of offspring so the affected fishes of the disease from this ek disease show small white spots small white spots or also called as pimples on the skin fins or the gills affected fishes from the disease show small white spot or pimples on the skin and the fins due to which these fishes can try to jump in water fishes respond by jumping in water and also rubbing their body against the water objects so whenever this disease is causes to the fish they can try to jump out of the out of the water and they rub their body against the any object which is found in the water body and Uh, here are some treatments given to such type of disease that is draining and liming of the pond this is one of the important treatment draining of the pond and liming is useful or treatment of the egg disease affected fishes we are, we can also use a daily bath of formalin daily bath of formalin about 200 to to 250 ppm bath of formalin we can also gives the bath of malicate green 1.25 ppm to 30 uh, for 30 minute 1.25 ppm to 0.5 ppm bath can gives to the malicate green for 30 minute we can also gives the bath of methylene blue 2 ppm methylene blue daily bath daily bath of methylene blue can also effective also we can use the deep treatment of acriflavin for 5 to 10 ppm of acriflavin and we can give the deep treatment of this acriflavin we can also give the uh, deep treatment of nacl solution of 7000 ppm nacl solution we can give daily bath of nacl solution of 7000 ppm these are some treatments can be given to that particular disease of fish caused by ichthyosis now the next disease next disease having a name costeosis costeosis is caused by this disease caused by flagellated protozoan costea nectaris costea nectaris causes costeosis type of disease to the fishes and it is associated with the pond fishes living densely in water having low ph where there is a low ph or the acidic water 
and poor condition of the food here this type of disease is found the parasites attacks on their skin fins gills and they can cause lesion here on the skin fins and gills so costiasis disease which is caused by fragility of protozoan costia necratis necatrix associated with the acidic water and poor condition of food and parasite attacks on the skin fins gills and causes their lesion so symptoms can have uh, found that appearance of gray blue film gray blue film on the skin lose appetite when they can finally die so when we see the symptoms about this disease appearance of gray blue film on the skin which turns to red patches in several affected cases and fish becomes weak lose appetite and finally they can be dry the treatment can be given for the disease that is keep disease fish disease fishes treated by keeping them for uh, 10 to 15 minute for 10 to 15 minute in 3 to 5 percent sodium chloride solution treated by keeping them for 10 to 15 minutes in 3 to 5 percent sodium chloride solution and over overcrowding should be avoided overcrowding uh, overcrowding should be avoided and ph of water should be checked regularly these are some treatment for the costiosis addition of kno4 to the pond is also used for the treatment is also useful treatment for the costiosis some another diseases like trichodynesis trichodynesis is caused by trichodina and the tilapia and salamons tilapia and salamons are susceptible to this disease and the causative agent is the trico trichodina it mainly attacks on the skin mainly attack on the skins of the fishes and causes lesion in skin and the treatment can be same given to the first type of disease protozoan disease that is ethiopthoracis so the same treatment can be given here also number fourth disease protozoan disease that is a milk fish disease of salamonites milk fish disease this is a disease caused by genus henigua this disease milk fish disease of salmon caused by genus henigua and the symptoms are whitening on the skin and we can give uh, same treatment which is given to the ethiopthoracis that is for you can, we can use formalin deep treatment of formalin or malicate green deep treatment of methane blue or acriflavin or we can give deep treatment of nsl solution which is uh, which is detail given in the first type of disease so these are some protozoan diseases uh, which causes to the fishes and their symptoms and treatments so if you like this video then share with your friends and subscribe the channel thank you